hello everybody um welcome back to this channel my name is joy if you're a new subscriber welcome to the cult if you're a returning subscriber hello to do basically i just want to address something because i didn't plan for this week to be a rant week don't worry caroline didn't make me angry i feel like we all make excuses including myself now i am currently in this iron series program I am also currently demotivated and limiting myself questioning, am I actually going to make it to the full six weeks? The last time I did one of Caroline's program, Epic 3, I quit in the second week. I am pissed at myself. I am pissed at a lot of you because there is so much we know deep down that we can do for ourselves, but we choose not to. Now what I'm saying is, when the feeling of demotivation comes, it is very easy for me to say, oh well, I'll just do another I quit video. It happens. I'm only just realizing that I'm actually, I can actually say no to limitations and demotivation. Excuse me guys, I am not a motivational speaker. I didn't come here to do aspire to inspire to perspire, no. If you keep saying, oh, I've gone this far, but I'm feeling some type of way, um, I'll just come back to the program. I just need some time off. But what really happens when you take that time off? Do you actually come back? Because me, I never do. I never do. And then it to, turns to weeks and months. And then when I come back to the gym or come back to, you know, eating clean, it's difficult. And then I start spiraling and say, Oh God, no. Heavens, no. Am I meant to be unhealthy? Oh, I just really love junk food. I'm addicted. I start labeling myself to these things that are not true. Call yourself out. Tell yourself, this is not true. Okay? It's not easy. But <laughs> I'm so happy I finally come to the um, realization of this. Because it's not fair, if you're being honest. When you go back and sleep into oh well um i guess i'm just not made for this i guess i just love my body the way I, you don't it's a lie you don't you're lying because if you really did you actually do something about it your body is constantly being bloated you're feeling heavy some type of weight uncomfortable and then some people feed you oh you're blessed the way you are and this, look the way you are now is how you've made yourself it's nobody's fault you're not blaming the media for saying oh some people are this some people are overweight and then they're not supposed to be in this you know category yes that has happened but really are we going to use that excuse for many years to come are we really going to keep doing that and saying well it's not my fault i'm beautiful and yes you are beautiful no one contests that but do what's best for your health it's not just about aesthetics anymore. It's for your health. How do you really feel? Now, only this year, 2022, since I actually started my weight loss journey since I was 16 years old, I'm just realizing that, oh, the junk food that I claimed that I loved so much wasn't doing any good to me. I didn't need a doctor to tell me this. I found this out on my own. I noticed I'll be burping like a cow because there's a lot of gas in there. I had like a lot of junk food. You usually have like a lot of sodium in there. So you feel like you retain a lot of water and then you're just like constantly bloated. You just feel icky on the inside. That's my problem. I feel like a lot of us know this, but then we just slip into some people who are not being honest with us. That's why I have a problem with body positivity. If you're really positive about your body, then you should do what's right for your health. If you're saying you love the way you find you love yourself, I am not saying because if you don't love yourself, there is no way you're going to do good for yourself. If you really love yourself, you would take care of your health, you take care of your body and stop claiming something. I know I might get some comments and I may not be able to handle those comments, but I feel like I'm really pissed off and some people should just stop saying crap and making excuses. I am not perfect. This weekend I did have junk food. I satisfied my cravings. But then what I realized that I had to do was to go back to the drawing board and actually create discipline for myself. If you're going to be healthy, you have to do it right. You have to eat the things that you actually want to eat. 
don't let anyone drive you into this direction or that direction i'm not giving tips i'm not a nutritionist and whatnot but i had to start listening to my body now when linda's son would um you know say oh listen to your body intuitive eating i'm like girl you ain't you don't know me there is no way i can listen to my body my body loves junk food but that was all a lie because i was only just listening to my tongue but then how did my gut feel it was just taking me back to feeling worthless and fat and just, i don't know i hated myself because of my own decisions no one's saying oh cut out everything there's balance and i have not got into balance but i don't know i just feel like there are a couple of people that need to hear this stop lying do something about it if you're taking a break it's not a problem but then are you strong enough to come back really i think we actually need to bring that foundation set it for yourself decide do you really want to take care of yourself or not or do you just want to live on excuses for the rest of your life <sighs> i don't know i think i'm getting too emotional this is a review oh god okay um but yeah that's my take <laughs>